Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to reset your Windows 10 PC. Begin by clicking on the Start button. Click on Power, the little icon in the lower left. And then you're going to hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Keep your finger on the Shift key, pressing it down. And while you're pressing down the Shift key, click on Restart. Now you'll wait a moment for the computer to give you these options. You're going to click on Troubleshoot and then take the top option, Reset this PC. Now there's two options here. One option is to keep your files but remove all apps and settings. This is a good choice if you find that your computer is, has slowed down and you're afraid you may have malware or virus or just too much junk running on your PC, but you still want to keep all of your documents that are in your documents folders and your photos folder on your desktop, that kind of thing. The next option is to remove everything, right? And this removes all your personal files, apps and settings. You'll just have a fresh installation of Windows 10. Uh, of course, if you if you want to do that, make sure that anything that is important to you has been backed up. In this tutorial, I'm going to do the remove everything option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'll wait a bit for the computer to begin the process. At this point, it's getting things ready. And now we have two more options. So the first is just to remove your files. And if you're keeping the PC for yourself, that's totally fine. If, however, you're selling the computer or giving it away and you don't want any chance of any of your files uh, being recovered, then you want to choose the second option, which is clean the drive fully. And uh, that's going to actually go through all the empty parts of the drive and overwrite all the empty parts of the drive after the process of resetting is done. Otherwise, uh, the way things get deleted in Windows, um, even though the file is marked as deleted, it may still be sitting there on the hard drive. So uh, the second option is your more secure option, but it does take much longer. I'm going to assume we're going to keep the PC and click on just remove my files. You'll then come to this prompt, reset this PC. It's saying all is ready to go. Make sure that the PC is plugged in. So this is uh, whichever option you choose on the previous screen. This is a uh, time intensive process here. So uh, leaving your computer on battery isn't a good idea, right? And then it just gives an overview of uh, what will be removed. In this case, everything basically, right? So let's go ahead and click on reset. Here we're almost done the first step. Windows is now rebooting. And now it goes into a further process of setup. See the note at the bottom it says your PC will restart several times. So just let it go through its cycle until you see that it's settled down and asking questions. A little bit more preparation. Okay, and now we come to our first question. 
So it's asking about the region. So I'm in Canada, so I'll click choose that. And in Canada, our default keyboard is the US keyboard. So I'll choose that, click on yes. I don't want to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm going to skip that. And then there's some more work to do. You'll need to accept the license agreement. And then we're into a bunch of the setup questions. So uh, I'm sure for the vast majority of you, you're going to be setting up for personal use. If you are setting up for an organization, go ahead and click on that and you'll need some information from your organization, uh, you know, for login credentials, that kind of thing. But let's assume set up for personal use. Uh, this dotted box is just saying what the, uh, I suppose, preferred or default choices, but you actually have to click to highlight it and then you'll be able to click on next. Now here we have a sign in with Microsoft uh, area and if you don't want to use a Microsoft account, uh, there is a, a procedure you can follow uh, which consists of uh, unhooking your internet. Um, so actually take the cable out from the back of your computer or turn off your Wi-Fi, disable your Wi-Fi, right? Put your laptop in airplane mode if that's uh, the option that you have. And uh, and then click next from there. And I'll, I'll show you how that does. Let me just unhook from the internet here. Give me one moment. Okay, so I've disabled the internet on this machine so that I can create a local account, right? So we're just going to type in, uh, say anything here and click on next. And there you're going to get this message that there was an issue looking up your account. Let's, uh, oh, here we go. Let's click on offline account in the lower left. Uh, now that that option is available and we can type in whatever username you'd like to appear on your computer and we'll click next. I'm not going to set up a password at this time so I'm just going to click next. And now we get into a bunch of the uh, privacy tracking kind of things. So, um, I don't want this uh, history across devices bit, so I'm going to say no. That would be associated with a Microsoft account. You could sign in on different machines and have your settings uh, similar between the machines. But I'm going to say no to that. And uh, I'm going to decline the digital assistant. Uh, that just uses up a lot of processing that I don't need running all the time. And um, essentially, I turn off almost all of these uh, bits here so don't use that I do keep the location services on so that uh, you know things like weather etc and news will work properly when you're online so accept that one but otherwise for greater privacy and performance I just go and say no or take the basic versions of the rest of this You can, of course, choose otherwise, but that's just my default thing. So now we get into this uh, little intro while it's getting the last bits ready for you, and soon we'll be on the actual desktop. And here we are on a nice, fresh Windows 10 desktop. So our reset has been successful. And probably uh, the next thing that you want to do is you know, click on start, go into settings, a little gear icon on the left there. Okay, scroll down. 
and go to update and security and you're going to want to click on check for updates oh i had turned off the internet so of course that's not working let me turn that back on now when windows 10 does detect uh, a new network and it will be to Windows 10 a new network after a refresh like this you'll get this question do you want your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network um, if you're at home or in a work environment uh, choose yes to this if you're in a public environment all the time choose no but uh, yes would be by far the big default for this otherwise uh, things like uh, printers and such won't necessarily work the way that you expect or at all right so let's go ahead and retry now for checking for updates and the thing with updates is there's often updates on updates so you can get a round of updates and then you it'll prompt you to restart and then when you restart if you go back into windows update it'll say that you're completely up to date but that's not always true always click one more time at least on uh, check for updates because uh, it will then you know confirm and see if there's anything really new it will often find something new and you may need to update three or four times before you've got all the applicable updates for your machine so it's always a good idea to do this uh, with a new installation to uh, you know get all the security patches and bug fixes etc and then you'll know that your computer is going to be running at its optimum uh, and we'll have all of the components necessary for any uh, newer software that's out that relies on uh, a more updated version of Windows than you might have uh, from your uh, reset, uh, your initial reset. Well, hopefully this has helped you reset your PC and, and bring you to a faster, better world. Thank you for watching.